All right, guys, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about balancing the gimbal real quick. This is, uh, when I see a lot of photos on Facebook of people using Sinistar gimbals and, uh, you know, just various places online, I, I see a lot of roll, axis, roll axes that are improperly balanced. So with the roll axis, a lot of people think you want it to return to level on its own when you let go, and that's incorrect. You want, uh, if you remove the roll belt so that this axis is totally free, when it's perfectly balanced, you can move it to any orientation and it will stay. And these are, uh, these are very free bearing, so the fact that it's staying like this when I'm not touching it is indication that it's very close to a perfect balance on the roll axis. And what this does is it allows the, the servos to work to their optimum potential because they're, they're not uh, preloaded or you know, overworked in one direction. And it allows, it allows you to get a higher gain setting with the Radian, which will make your mount more active in stabilization and uh, show less jitter. This is one of the, with the beta testers that we sent out, this was a frequent problem that, that people had would, would be having the, uh, let me just demonstrate. So a lot of people have, I have this loose just for the sake of illustration. A lot of people have a setup something like this where you see these side, side arms are, you know, at a level or even dip down sometimes I see. And, and when we do this, you can see it springs right back. It wants to go back to it's balanced to side to side, but it's not balanced. Uh, vert the vertical CG is not balanced. So these need to be tipped up to the point where when you go and leave it, it stays. And then if you go too far the other way, what you'll do is you actually have a top heavy system where it wants to automatically swing over to one side. And you don't want that either. So you just gotta find that sweet spot. It can be, uh, it can take a little time, but it's a good thing to just sit down and get perfect and even may maybe make some markings on your tubes to remind you where everything is. And then you can see tilt is the same way. We can go you know, wherever we want with tilt and it'll stay. And the, the easiest way to do this is definitely to remove your belts and that will show you instantly if you're even close on balance. And a lot of time people find when they remove their belts that things are quite a bit out of balance. Um, and the, the next axis that you need to balance is pan, but we'll look at that once it's attached to the multirotor.